What's going on everyone? Welcome to another Battery 101. In today's episode, we will be discussing internal resistance and how your battery capacity, the connector, and your cables affect the end performance. Now, there's a lot of misunderstanding in the hobby regarding internal resistance. And hopefully, what we'll review today will dissolve some of that confusion for both new and older drivers alike. Now, internal resistance, otherwise known as IR, is represented by milliohms. And it's something that has been highly discussed and debated over the hobby for many years now. To explain things simply, you can compare your LiPo battery to a water tank. Um, think of the water in the tank as your capacity and the size of the faucet as the C rating, and the faucet knob controlling the water pressure as the internal resistance. The higher the internal resistance, the tighter the faucet knob is, thus resulting in a much lower water output, even though the faucet is very large. In other words, the more internal resistance you have, the less power you are getting to your ESC efficiently. And internal resistance is hard to predict because it is constantly changing with all the discharging, your charging, uh, depending on your storage temperatures, and then just overall use of the battery. And there's one thing to keep in mind when you're picking a battery. The bigger the battery's capacity, the lower the potential internal resistance is. And of course, the smaller the capacity, the more internal resistance you are likely to encounter. Connectors and wires don't play too much of an impact on the internal resistance. And a good rule of thumb is that the larger something is, the better the internal resistance. An eight gauge is bigger than a 12 gauge, and an EC5 connector is bigger than an EC3. In fact, here are connectors kind of organized from smallest to largest. Here are your XT30s, your EC3, your Deans, your XT60s, your EC5s, your XT90s, and then your AS150s and XT150s. And for wires, granted, yes, bigger is better, but shorter is better. Think about this, the longer the wire, the more distance that the energy has to travel, which equals resistance. So shortening the wire gives it less distance to travel, giving you less in IR. In fact, this actually kind of goes into our next point. We're gonna talk about bullet connectors here. With the bullet connecting directly to the battery, you're skipping out on the middleman entirely, and you're basically directing all that power straight to the ESC. Now granted, all of this is related to your power requirements. For instance, if you only need 10 amps worth of power, you probably won't see a difference from a 12 gauge to a two gauge wire since the power output is just so low. We hope you took something new away today about internal resistance, especially something that can help you when it comes to getting the most out of your drag and your racing vehicles. In fact, what's something that you want us to discuss on a Battery 101? Drop it in the comments below. Let me know. As always, thank you for coming by to hang out. Give us that like, give us that subscription, and please share these videos. We want to get the word out on them. Uh, as always, my name is Zach, and we'll see you next time.